Hey everyone, it's Bethany from Tech Essentials and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about using Finder in multiple windows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a Finder window and you can see that now I've got my window up here and when I click on File, New Finder Window, I can actually get a second one. You can actually have many Finder windows that are open at the same time. When you're working in Finder, you can tell which window is active because it is the one that looks like it is forward. It's colored um, icons here for minimizing and for going full screen. Those are colored right now because this window is my active window. And it also casts a little bit of a shadow down on the um, application that is below it. So if I click onto this one, you can see it does the same thing. So. Um, having multiple Finder windows open is going to be helpful for a variety of reasons. One of those is when you're trying to organize your computer. So I have my desktop here and let's say I want to move my art production folder onto my desktop. So I click on my art production folder and I can easily click that with one finger and drag with a second finger and now I can drop that onto my desktop. If I decide I don't really want it to go there I can easily undo that by clicking edit undo or you can use the shortcut Command-Z, which will make that a really quick and easy undo. In Finder, I'm also going to show you a couple of examples of different icons that you can use no matter what application you're running. So on a Mac, when you click on the green button here, it's going to take you into full screen mode. So that kind of declutters your desktop and what you're looking at so that all you're seeing is the application itself. If you need to see the menu bar again, you scroll to the top of your screen. And if you want to escape, you can either click the escape button on your keyboard. So I just clicked that escape button. Or if you're in full screen mode and you want to go out, you can also click that green button one more time. Now you can see that I've returned back to my regular menu and if I want to minimize this window, so I don't want to completely get rid of the window but I want it to go away for a minute, I can click this yellow button here and that's going to send it down to my dock. So you can see that window is still there as opposed to this time where I'm going to click the red button. So the red button what it's going to do is it's going to close that app window but it's not going to close the application. So if I close this you can see my finder is still running and my window here is still there and that way that window is closed but the application stays running. If you want to reopen something that you've minimized, you're going to click on it and it's going to open back up on your desktop. Another quick tip with Finder is that if you want to move a window in Finder, you can do that by clicking anywhere in this gray area that is not a button. So you can click up here, down there, over here, and those will help you to move your window. So if I'm over here and I need to see something on my desktop, I can quickly and easily move this over here and get it out of the way. So that's a really nice feature in Finder as well. I'm going to close out of this Finder. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of the day. Thank you.